Okay, so what we're going to take a look at today are second stage regulators and how they function. As always, the aim of these videos is not to create experts, so we're not using technical terminology or going super in depth at all. This is just at its most basic, how a nondescript, non-brand specific second stage regulator functions. So it's definitely aimed at those of you who've got little to no knowledge on how these things work at all, okay? Um, the hope is that I can give you a base of familiarity on which you can expand your own knowledge upon and get better at it, okay? So let's get started. Okay, so what we're looking at right here is a depiction of a second stage regulator. Um, the image on the left is showing the regulator in the closed position, and the image on the right is showing the regulator in the open position. But how do we transition from one to the next? Well, it requires the diver to inhale and exhale. So we can see, um, if we start on this image right here, we've got intermediate pressure gas, which comes from a first stage, down the hose and into the second stage up until this point right here where it can't proceed because it's sealed off. Now inside here, this is an ambient pressure chamber. So this is full of gas at ambient pressure. This is what the diver will breathe in. So when the diver takes a breath, they are taking this gas out of the chamber and into them. Now, because they're taking the gas out of there, it's going to cause the pressure in this chamber to start to drop, okay, because the gas is being removed from there. Now, what happens if we jump over to the second image right here? As the diver takes that gas out, what it's going to do as the pressure drops is going to make this diaphragm start to flex inwards or upwards, depending on how you how you view in this. Um, as it flexes, starts to flex there, you can see it's pushing on the lever. Now, as it pushes that lever up, what that is doing internally is it's pulling that stopper back. So we can see it's in a closed position, but when the lever flexes up, it pulls that stopper back and it's now in an open position. This is what allows the, the intermediate pressure gas to start to leak out and into this chamber right here. And this is what the diver is actually consuming. It's what they're inhaling as they breathe in. So as long as the diver is inhaling, it's going to stay in this position. Diaphragm flexed in, lever pushed up, stopper open, and gas leaking into this chamber for the diver to inhale. Now, this stops and the reverse happens when the diver exhales. So when the diver begins to exhale, they are pushing back against this, which means this diaphragm will be pushed back down, which causes this lever to kind of reset in the down position, which then pushes the stopper closed again, aided by the red, well, red in this image, but the bias spring. The bias spring is set to the same tension as the intermediate pressure. So that bias spring helps push that stopper back to the closed position. And this will just keep repeating itself as the diver inhales and exhales. So the diver inhales, they take the gas out of this chamber, the pressure drops, causes the diaphragm to flex up, which pushes the lever, which opens the stopper and gas leaks in. When the diver stops breathing in and starts to breathe out, what they're doing is creating a back pressure. So they're pushing this diaphragm back down, which allows the lever to, to kind of reset itself and then push the stopper closed again so no further gas leaks into the chamber. This will just keep repeating itself as long as the diver inhales and exhales. <laughs> 